Today I'm going to be customizing my slime. This is in the container of an old slime that I got from Michaels. It's in my Michaels haul video. But I just made this white slime. It's still a little sticky, um, but that's okay. I left it a little sticky, kind of not too thin, not too thick, simply because we will be customizing this today. And, you know, just thinking of a specific type of slime and how you want it to look and make Okay, so the first thing slime needs is color. So I'm going to add some color to it. I don't know what color yet. Um, I don't know. There's some different colors I was thinking of for this nice glossy slime. I think we'll try some green. I want it like a nice mm, darker green, I guess, like a neon green. I mix. Okay, so the slime now is this nice green color. I think we'll just go for some gold. Um, I feel like this is not the best color combo, I think, personally, but um, I could work. I just added quite a bit of glit. I already have a Valentine's Day slime, so I guess this could be a St. Patrick's Day slime. I didn't mean to make it a St. Patrick's Day slime, but I, I mean, it looks like one, so maybe it could be a St. Patrick's Day slime. I'm now gonna add some Elmer's Glow in the Dark glue. Just a little bit of this, um, just to give it a little bit of glitter and to give it a, like a thicker texture. Oh, that was not a little. So I added kind of a lot, I guess, but I'm gonna go ahead and mix this. Obviously now needs activator. I think I finally completed the slime. On camera, it looks less vibrant and it looks, there we go, it looks kind of, it is a, just a basic slime with some gold glitter and that it's green, and I'm calling it St. Patrick's Day slime. I know St. Patrick's Day isn't for a while, but when I got it green, then I kind of realized, well, there's no turning back. I guess I might as well turn it into like a shamrock St. Patrick's Day slime. If you enjoyed this video, have an awesome day.